welcome back to another favorites video. This favorites video is for September. I'm wearing this sweater that I got from JCPenney. I really love this sweater so much to where I wanted my lip color to kind of match, so I'm wearing my Minted Cosmetics lipstick. This one is in the color Nude La La, and it's basically just like the color of my sweater. Um, it really wears nicely on brown skin tones. If you are in the market for a nice mauve pink lip color that wears nicely on brown skin, I would highly recommend this one. And then let's talk about this hair right quick, you guys. So I'm still rocking these twists, okay? If you've seen my real life vlogs, at least the last couple ones, you saw these twists when we went on our camping trip. So I'm still rocking these. Today, well this weekend will make, you know, two weeks wearing these twists. And you guys know how I am. I usually be taking protective styles down after like a week, but for some reason when it comes to twists, I'm able to wear them a lot longer. And I'm really loving the look of these. It took me only like an hour to install these. It took a little longer just to curl the ends because I did have to put some rollers on there because the ends were not popping without that curl on there. But so far, you guys, so good. They are a little bit dirty, so it's gonna they're gonna be coming down probably in the next couple of days. But I'm just saying, I'm probably gonna put some more back in. This is the hair I use. I wanted to show this to you guys. It's just some Jamaican twist braid hair. It's kinky, it's got the hot water set. It's 100% Kanikalon, and I used the color 1B, which was kind of perfect for me. And you guys might notice that my background is a little bit different. I did rearrange my room a bit to be more optimal with lighting so I could get my full window here. And so I'll probably share that with you guys. Matter of fact, I'm gonna share it with you right now. So this is what my room looks like now. I just rearranged the furniture, just moved some stuff around. I did this the other day, being a little busy bee in the house. So this is more spacious for us. I really love the way it kind of came out. I do want to get a couple of mirrors to kind of use as backdrops for my lamps. And then I want to get a nice big rug for the floor. So I'm still kind of working on getting this space finished. But this is what we're working with for right now and I'm really feeling it like I woke up this morning the sunlight was like shining in on me versus being behind me it was in front of me and it changed everything you guys so I don't know if y'all are like that when it comes to daylight sunlight like I have to have it so my sleeping experience my waking up experience was improved just from moving this furniture around a bit okay well let's get started with the favorites I'm gonna start off talking about some hair stuff I want to share with you guys this line of products by Dove it's called Dove Amplify Tech and it's new from the brand, right? And I do have a video coming up. I know this is starting to become a trend. Like I favored something and then I have a video coming. But you guys, I really like these items and I just can't lie. This is an awesome line, you guys, when it comes to hair care and styling. This first product is the Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. It's for curls and waves. And it's got a moisture amplifying blend made with aloe. So good, all right? I actually used these products to achieve a really cute wash and go, so definitely be on the lookout for that video. It's coming very soon. What I look for in a gel when I'm doing my wash and go styles is just something that is going to create some definition and have some hold, but not be crunchy. I don't want my hair to feel, you know, crunchy, and I don't want when the wind blows, you have this big chunk that's blowing all with the wind in one piece, because that's not how hair works. I like to still maintain some softness and have some elasticity, some agility with my hair, and so I like using gels like this, and it gave me a lot of good shine too. So if you guys haven't tried these Dove Amplified Textures products, definitely give them a shot if you see them. This other one is the Moisture Spa Recovery Mask. Y'all, first of all, these products smell really, really good. You can tell that they put a lot of effort into the fragrance of them when they were creating these. But I really love this mask because like a few others that I've tried recently that have stuck out to me, this one actually detangles and it has tons of slip. So it's, you know, it, gone are the days of like these hair masks that we put on our hair and it just feels like wax sitting on top of the hair. Those are finished, right? Because a lot of companies are coming out with these moisture masks that are thick and creamy and actually detangle our hair. So you don't have to go through these multiple steps of conditioning your hair in search of a slippery situation when you can just go and get everything in that one product. So I really, really love this one. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about some edibles right quick. Last time I said edibles, some of y'all got a little too excited. Not those edible sis. <laughs> So I wanna share with you guys a snack that I've been loving for a really, really long time. This is a Saheli snack, and it's basically just some flavored cashews. I absolutely love cashews. They're probably my top five favorite nuts. Y'all, these are so good. They always get me an at-home when I'm shopping in at-home and they have like the nuts like right up front by the register. I always end up grabbing these if I see them because they are absolutely my favorite. I feel like I'm usually eating these in the car on my way home from a store because if I buy them, they don't make it home. Like I eat them on the way home. Just a really good, quick snack to have. They're very filling. It's lots of fat, you know, the good kind of fat that are in these. So you eat a handful of these, you're gonna feel okay until you get to your next meal. 
Brazil. I just really love the flavors of vanilla and the pomegranate. It just goes together so nicely. It's like a nice, sweet, vanilla-y kind of situation and mixed in with that kind of tart berry of the pomegranate. It's just super nice. So this is a great snack I would highly recommend. Next, I wanna share this Country Croc plant butter with olive oil. So this is a dairy-free butter by Country Croc. They have a lot of different flavors of this in your local grocery store. I've seen almond, I've seen avocado. I talked about this in a vlog a while ago, right? But I wanted to include it in a favorites officially because it is absolutely my favorite fake butter. <laughs> it actually tastes better to me than butter made with animal products. It is delicious. If you're vegan, plant-based or whatever, or you're just looking for an alternative to dairy, I would highly, highly recommend this, this Country Croc plant butter. I recommended this to my best friend because she was um, ditching dairy for a period and she had asked me if this was margarine and I said no. So I want to make sure I say that in case anyone out there has a question. It's not margarine, it's just pretty much a blend of different oils and flavorings to get you that buttery flavor without the animal products. All right, now let's get into some home items. This first item comes in this kind of velvety hat box looking container and I'm going to take it off and show y'all what's inside. Ooh. Check that out. This is a product by a company called Rose Forever New York and they sent me these roses as a gift. They are real life roses, you guys, and they have been specially preserved to last at least a year. I am so excited about this product, you guys. It is so beautiful. My favorite part about this Rose Forever bouquet is that where do I start? Okay, so the container is beautiful, right? It's kind of like that luxurious black velvety container that just looks like you spent a lot of money on it. I feel like you can put this in any room from your living room to your master walk-in closet, right? And it's going to make the space look more put together, more expensive, more luxurious. Something about seeing that kind of bunch of roses all together like that that is just so beautiful and elegant. The conflict that I had was where to put these um, because they looked good in my formal living room as well but I decided to go ahead and put them in my master bedroom closet just to bring a little bit of life and pizzazz to my island in there. So I replaced the flowers that were in there for these and I have no regrets. It is so beautiful, you guys. Every morning when I wake up and go into my closet, I get to see these and it's such a vibe. So I would highly recommend these to you guys if you want to try them out. I'm sure you guys have heard of these before. You probably just never had like a link or a discount. So check the description box to see um, what's in store for you guys, but I would highly recommend you guys visit the website, check these out and shop them. Tell them Ms. Bond TV sent you. I am so grateful for my rose bouquet and special thanks once again to Rose Forever for gifting me these. Another item that I got for home was a gift um, from one of my sorority sisters, Stephanie, and it is a white barn candle in the fragrance leaves. It burns really slow and because of those essential oils, the fragrance kind of just lingers and it's just so nice, it's such a treat. It smells like fall. Oh, it smells like everything you want from like the fall season. You smell this and it's like, okay, it's fall. The packaging is very beautiful and it really goes nicely with my fall decor, which I'll be showing you guys in the next couple of days. I have a video coming showing you guys how I decorated for fall and I incorporated this candle and I kind of selected decor to coordinate with this because I was so in love and inspired by this candle. And last but not least for home, I wanted to share a new cookbook that I got. This is Magnolia Table and it's written by Joanna Gaines. You guys probably know her and her husband, Chip, from the hit TV show on HDTV called Fixer upper. I have always been a huge fan of that freaking couple in terms of their interior decor style, their family dynamic, just the whole thing you guys. I've always really been a huge fan and I saw this book at Target and I had to get it. It's basically a cookbook. Um, it's a collection of recipes for gathering. This is actually volume two so there is a part one to this. I just love it so much you guys because you all know I love to cook and I love to host. I love to have family and friends over and stuff like this just keeps my ideas fresh. It is really tough to always be thinking of new and fresh fresh and impressive things. If you like to host, then you know that to be true. So books like this and some of the other cookbooks that I have downstairs just really help me to be inspired and come up with new ideas all the time. And it's some good stuff in this book when I tell you the recipes are impressive and just make your mouth water. And this includes everything from entrees to appetizers to desserts. So I just love the ideas in here because it helps you to come up with recipes that make sense for larger groups and still kind of maintain that delicate, artisan vibe that you would have if you were creating something for just maybe two people. All right, last but not least, you guys, let's go ahead and move into my wine of the month. <laughs> 
for today's wine share, I just have one wine to share and that is this one. This particular wine was aged in bourbon barrels for three months and it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. So if you've seen any of my recent favorites videos, you know that I am here for the barrel aged wines. When shopping for wines, right, whether I'm in Benny's or my local grocery store, I look for two things when it comes to red wines. And I'm not even gonna lie, this is what I look for. If it says anything about California, I'm probably going to get a little bit closer and squint and read the label. And once I read the label, if I see that it was aged in a bourbon barrel, I'm, I'm putting it in the buggy, like we're on our way to the register. And of course I'm open to, you know, other reds and things like that, as long as they're not too sweet. But those are pretty much the ones I gravitate towards. And this one is so good, I would highly recommend it. It's like 14.8% ABV, so it's pretty strong and you will start to understand <laughs> during the first sip. But I really love that about these barrel aged red wines. Kind of intense, you know, and it just, it really goes so well with foods that are rich things like steaks and you know ducks and because of the fat content it really helps you kind of cut through that but also things like pastas that are really rich and tomatoey and the best way to really enjoy this type of wine especially right is to let it aerate you know have it in your glass and swish it around a little bit really just to let that air get in there and develop those flavors and you guys it is going to be fantastic all right are there any ladies out there who have been converted to red wine drinkers because of my favorites videos if so i, I my apologies <laughs> but if you love it then you're welcome sis all right so that is it for today's favorites i hope you guys did enjoy make sure that you check the description box for any links that i'm able to gather for you guys and i will see you in october's favorites Mwah. bye